in here. We use the sterilizing agent on the gas, and that should be able to get us our next item. Yep, there it is. Now I bet we go in here, we grab the item, and then those zombies, the one in here and the one on the outside, wake up. Reading room key. Called it. Reading room key. That's just ugh, makes me feel all not okay. Okay. And if I remember right, the green chemical. Examine. Green chemical appears to have neutralizing effect on poisons. So carrying the green with us seems useful. Okay. Salmon. This is a hideous monster. Okay, so uh, I need to see the map real quick. Map. There's this door and this door. I'm sure, which one it is. Um. However, just because. I'm a good person. We're gonna take these and we're gonna go and drop them to Billy real quick. So you can just have more shotgun ammo. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Now let's see if this key goes to that other room up here. If it doesn't, then I guess we'll just take it down to Billy, or whatever. I don't remember if it was this room. Thinking it wasn't. Locked on, I can't open it. Nope. Okay. It's not this one. Looks like too high to jump down. Okay. the breeding room key. Don't seem to need this anymore. Throw it away. Yes. To the breeding room. I don't like this. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. We're, uh, we're gonna bring Billy up here with a shotgun to deal with that shit. <laughs> Shot. 
I don't care about that. Come on. Give, give me hookshot, please. Please. Come on. Ugh, this game. Thank you. Guess I am going to have to take those on. Because I guess it's too dangerous to jump down, and I don't think I'll be able to send Hookshot down. Not cool. I'm just gonna hit them with the Molotovs, I guess. I may save with Billy before we do this, because I don't want to die, lose any progress. So let's do that real quick, like. So we have to take down at least two hunters with Molotovs, and that is not something that I think would be easily done. But let's try, for the sake of trying. We'll just spam the shit if we have to. Hopefully not die. And die, would you? Jesus. Only two left. Great. At least we didn't take too much health damage, so. What is this? BOW report. Research to date has shown that. When the progenitor virus is administered to living organisms, violent cellular changes cause a breakdown in the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organisms for use of weapons. Clearly, greater coordination at the cellular level is essential to enable further growth. I conducted a number of experiments in an effort to find a breakthrough. This is my report. Insecta. Perhaps because of these... Oh, I don't drink. Perhaps because of these ancient animals have been genetically stable for millennia when administered with the progenitor virus they exhibit only explosive high energy growth and increased aggressiveness this is extremely difficult and en to envision using them as a bow uh, bow is a bioorganic weapon by the way open up this other drink here all right Amphibia. Injecting a frog with the virus resulted in the increase in leaping power and abdominal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability has was observed. Furthermore, the abnormal appetite resulted in test subjects randomly attacking all moving objects. Usefulness for BOW is limited. Well, yeah. So the amphibia must be the, the hunter, as they called it. As it's been called, like in every Resident Evil game. Amalia is. The progenitor virus is merged with a monkey's cellular DNA, resulting in increased fertility. The resulting young exhibited improved aggressiveness and some increased mental capacity. As a side effect, visual power was lost, but this was offset by the improvement in hearing ability. 
However, they were unsatisfactory as weapons. It does seem that no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. Huh. All right. Take the dial. That's what we need. She's all like, I wonder what they were raising in these cages. Like, hmm, I don't know. Giant fucking frog things? Like, even though that the, uh... Hunters aren't exactly, uh... The most intelligent of the B.O.W.s, they're definitely, like, some of the most aggressive ones. Some of the hardest ones to kill in pretty much all the Resident Evil games, so... But over degree as a weapon, they would be probably not good to control. I'm in the wrong room. I need to send that dial downstairs so that way he can use it. They can open up the door and I have the code, the 4863. Style. Let's go toss that on the other door, and then input the code. It should be easy enough, right? something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Okay. I'm not sure if that was the door that we just came through. I think it was. What is this? The lever here, pull it? Sure. What's that do? Ah, okay. Now we'll be able to regroup. And I'll also be able to have her get her, like, stuff. What is this? I put regulator coil. Sure. That sounds useful. Doesn't seem to be getting any power. Okay. Fine, I guess we'll have him climb, climb up the ladder, I guess.
can we not get in here yet? It's locked and I can't open it. Oh, what the hell? Alright, um... Cool. You know what? I feel like this is a really good stopping point, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna save real quick, and then, uh... We can just stop here for the night. Alright, and we will save. back we'll figure out how to power up the cable car thank you so much for watching we'll see you at the journey's end ta-ta